the death tape was recorded like a lot of the things in the uh, 2010 to 2019 period in a space of like seven to eight hours in a four track studio in some place in the middle of nowhere actually it wasn't the middle of nowhere it was Pearl River I remember distinctly being at my friend's little home studio and just banging out literally what 18 to 20 tracks and it documents a pretty miserable time in my life I've been going through an extremely horrible breakup uh it was a breakup so bad I didn't know how to let it go and I mean it consumed me for years it was it was painful it was miserable it was horrible but that album was recorded stream of consciousness so it's on the uh, under the influence of several chemicals like to the point of like I don't know how I'm still alive but that record got put together so quickly the songs were written all live no I don't think one song would, took more than five minutes to write it was just attack record scream no pre-written lyrics no no pre-written anything it was just a document of exactly how I felt at the time I wish it could have been produced a little better uh, I wish it had some you know guitar layers and whatever but it's literally guitar on one side bass on the other drums in the middle and vocals in the middle that's all it is that's all you hear no fluff no flourish uh, Rotten Voice, that had a double track guitar, the, the outlaw weird trip country piece at the end. I'm very proud of the release, only because it's a genuine document of like my life falling apart in 2019 after this breakup, and you get to go through my head for the whole miserable thing. It's not an easily digested record, it's not listenable. There's no pop hooks or rock hooks or anything of that variety. It's a very distraught sounding record. My vocals sound absolutely insane. I don't remember tracking them. Uh, <laughs> probably for the best. I don't think I've screamed like that before since... Making a record like that is kind of fun, though. You have four tracks. Uh, it's almost like making a live record, even though I played everything. You just you grind it through. You make everything happen. And while I don't have the, t I didn't have the self recording capabilities I have now. So I literally just had to go in and record it all in one one takes, one bash out, and hope it hope it worked. It sat on a shelf for a long time because it just wasn't finished in terms of mixing in terms of mastering so when I finally got the tapes I put it together in a package and now it's all out there for you uh I think this is going to be the last punk release of my career I don't feel like making punk music anymore I don't feel like expressing myself in that simplistic way with that kind of simplistic rage so if anything the death tape is a death tape and it's the end of my career in punk I really enjoyed some of that period, and some of it was really bad, but, you know, with all the records coming out documenting the 2005 to 2019 punk period, quote-unquote, uh, it's a good bookend. So, you know, it starts with the dark half, and it ends with the death tape, and there you go. Um, I wish I could say that it was a pleasant experience it wasn't but it was quite fun to work with only four tracks and one takes and see what you get so it is what it is I had limited time limited funds limited everything to get it done but now it's finally out to the public and for you to listen to so listen to it buy it whatever man thanks a lot keep listening and there'll be more later please like and subscribe